Hello, what's up guys? I'm Kyle from KGR, and today we're going to showcase our first four figures collection. I've been collecting these figures since about 2016, 2017 or so, and I strictly try to stay in the PVC collection because those are the only ones that I can afford right now. But after we showcase all the ones that we currently have, I want to showcase the ones that I plan on getting in the future, as well as ones I dream of having that I know I'm never going to afford. Now let's start off by showing off the first figure that I got to get me into collecting these figures as a whole. And that is the PVC Crash Insane Trilogy Crash Exclusive Edition. Now what makes this figure so exclusive? What makes it so great? What's the difference between this one and the regular one that you can get in stores? There's not much of a difference to be quite honest. The only difference really is saying Exclusive Edition on the bottom and then it has a number next to it. At least like this that's how it is but what really makes it special is this box that I originally came in so we have a, I don't want to say a crate but we got this beautiful casing so we have the crash bandicoot logo right here then we got Aku Aku on the side then we got crash on the back then another Aku Aku on the side and then we got a decent design on the top that it might be a little bit hard to see on camera but we'll see same thing for the bottom but this is held together by magnets and then you open it up and then you have the authentication cards on the side as well as the original box that the figure came in so this looks absolutely beautiful so I bought this immediately there's listings on eBay for this right now that are around like $300 or so, but one did sell for like $125, and even then, that was a low number. It was like number 83 out of how many? 1,450? So no, be patient. If you really want an exclusive edition, lowball them, because ain't no way this thing's worth $300. It'd be cool if it was, but I don't think it is. I'm gonna try to keep this in order of when I got them, so the franchises are gonna jump from franchise to franchise. But the next one I think I remember getting next was the Breath of the Wild Link. Now this one isn't the one that you normally get nowadays. The ones that you get nowadays have a glowing base. This was like a very first run of it, so it doesn't have the glowing base. And I remember I got this because even though I'm not that huge of a Zelda fan, I remember really falling in love with Breath of the Wild and I wanted this statue because it also matches the amiibo pretty well which is actually one of the biggest things I like about the whole PVC line for Breath of the Wild is that they all match the amiibos really well it's literally just high detailed versions of those figures so if you really wanted to you could take apart the base and put in an NFC chip down there to actually match that amiibo so you could put this on top of your your controller and BAM you got you got a giant link amiibo or whoever other Breath of the Wild character you want to put on. But as much as I love this line, they promised us a, a Sheikah Slate statue and we still never got that. So where is it first four figures? I want that. But I feel like it's a little irrelevant to do that now since uh, Tears of the Kingdom is out now and they don't have the Sheikah Slate in that game much anymore, I don't think. But I believe I got this for Christmas. The the first Crash Bandicoot statue, I actually pre-ordered through them and bought that and had a good time with it. But this one I got for Christmas, I'm pretty sure. The next one comes from one of my favorite games of all time, and that is Luigi's Mansion. Personally, my favorite one is uh, the first Luigi's Mansion. This is actually my childhood copy of the game. But this statue in particular is from Luigi's Mansion 3. But there's also a different version of it that has him with the, the pup and the whole thing glows and I would love to have that but I settled for this one because here Hot Topic had this thing I don't know if it was on sale or on clearance but I know it was relatively cheap and then on top of that I had gift certificates so I got this thing for probably like 20 or 30 dollars something like criminal and I knew if I passed on it I would never get it for that cheap ever again I barely had the money at the time, I'm pretty sure, but I knew I was going to miss out if I didn't get it. And this thing is beautiful. I love the stitch work on this guy. He just looks so amazing. I was so impressed with this guy. Because this is the one that really blew my mind because you really got to see the detail in like the stitching of his clothes, his hat, his, his denim overalls. I was very very impressed by this guy. Earlier I said that I'm not that huge of a fan of Zelda, which is kind of ironic because the next statue I got is also from Zelda. But this time we got the PVC Majora's Mask. 
Now there's multiple different versions of the Majora's Mask. There's a resin one that's like one to one scale and that thing is beautiful. And then there's the PVC ones that are a lot more accessible to get. But this is the standard one. There's also one that has a glowing base. And also you can make the eyes on the Majora's Mask glow as well. I got this back when I worked at Best Buy because at this time I was ready to quit. I've been there for two years and I'm like ready to work somewhere else full time. But when this came in and I knew I was leaving, I saved a bunch of money to get ready to move out. But I know when I left, I was gonna lose my employee discount. So I used my employee discount to get this guy. And now I work in a store where we sell retro games and modern games as well as collectibles. And about a year ago or so, we started collecting first four figure statues uh, in the store. And now we have the one with the glowing base. So I'm like, man, I should have got that one. But oh well. I'm fine with this. I feel like if I was a bigger fan of Zelda, I would absolutely upgrade, no problem. And also, if I had a way to power the thing a little bit better, because I didn't feel like getting the batteries for them. But this thing is so cool. I I'm happy with this thing. It looks so nice. I originally got into the lore of Majora's Mask by the creepypasta of Ben Drowned. And then I uh, dived into Majora's Mask's lore, and I'm like, whoa, there's a lot here. So of course I had to get a Majora's Mask statue. This thing is beautiful. But working in that store now, since we get first four figure statues, of course there's some that come in that have to come home with me because I love them very much. And the next one I bought was almost an issue actually. So the next one I want to show off is the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Now, there are four different versions of the Blue Eyes. There's this one, as well as a silverish blue one. And then there's also resin versions of those figures and exclusive versions where it comes with a separate head with a white lightning attack. So I guess there's six versions, maybe? I don't know. Point is, there's many versions of this figure. Now, the reason why this one was possibly a problem was here, during the time that I bought this, now, like, keep in mind, when this was announced, I wanted it because I'm a big Blue Eyes guy. In fact, I actually run three gold versions in my deck. So when this came out, like, I wanted it, but I was like trying to convince myself, I don't have the space, I don't need it that bad. And then it came into the store. But the night prior that I got this guy, my now fiance and I were having an argument. I can't remember exactly what the argument was, but I know we didn't resolve it that night. So I go to work, this comes in, and I said, screw it, I love blue eyes, it's right in front of me, I'm buying him. And thankfully, working at the store that I work at, I'm able to get these things at cost. So I got this thing for significantly cheaper than what it's supposed to go for. Not as cheap as what I got the Luigi's Mansion statue, but enough to say, come on, you can afford it. <laughs> at least that's what I tell myself. I'm absolutely lying to myself, but I still buy it anyway. So anyway, uh, at this time, my, my fiance and I now, we're, we were still in the middle of our fight, but we didn't resolve it yet. So I had to sneak this into the house. So I sneak in, I put this in the dining room, and then I go to the living room, and then her and I talk, we work it out, and I ask, okay, are we clear now? Like, are, are we good? And she's like, I guess so. And I said, good, because I bought something. <laughs> so she knows that I love Blue Eyes so much. In fact, even like my mom, like when I was talking to her about like, you know, getting a girl's perspective on a fight. And I mentioned how I bought this. She's like, on paper, not a good idea. But you did want this statue for a while. <laughs> so here he is. And he's glorious. Originally, I wanted the like the bluer version, but I grew to love this one a lot more. So, no regrets. This looks gorgeous. The other one more reflects like the art that I have on my favorite version of the card. But even then, the proportions on that card versus how they brought it to life as a statue doesn't exactly like equal the same. So like. It doesn't affect me that much that I got this version instead. We later got the blue version, but this one still looks gorgeous. I love this statue so much. Now the next statue we got is also one I got from my job. And that is the Mario Kart. Now from what it sounds like, they plan on doing more Mario Kart statues, 
but I just don't know when they plan on doing it, and uh, I'm probably going to be only settling for this one because this is the only one I can really afford. But here at my job, I make videos to promote some of the collectibles that we have, and I made a video talking about this statue, so I opened it up and got like close-up looks of it, and I was actually pretty proud of that video. But as I'm making the video, I'm admiring it, and I said, you know what? That figure's going home with me. But unlike the Blue Eyes White Dragon, I sat on it for a couple of weeks. Because I'm one that tends to buy impulsively because FOMO, fear of missing out. But I knew we had a couple of these, so I sat on it. Now the rule should be if you sit on it for about a week or two and you're still thinking about it, then you should get it if you really like it that much. There are very few times that I follow that rule because most of the times I just impulse buy it anyway. But this one I sat on because money was tight, but I still made it work. And I love him. I love him so much. Like the same reasons that I was very impressed with the Luigi's Mansion, this one blew my mind even more with not only the stitching, but like how everything else looks. Like the nice metallic finish on like the exhaust and stuff like that. Like it's just so beautiful. I've seen a lot of Mario Kart figures in my day, and a lot of them, the proportions were always very off. It didn't really feel like it was actually Mario coming to life with a Mario Kart. This is like the closest thing to a good representation of what Mario is supposed to look like in his kart, and I think it's perfect. But thankfully, this one didn't involve any fighting. <laughs> this one, I, I was trying to be responsible with, and everything was okay. So we got it now. But then there's also a later version that has a much bigger pedestal and has a different graphic on it. So it looks like he's crossing the finish line. It has like smoke effects and stuff like that. That one looks great too. But at the time when I bought this, we didn't have that one yet. And even then, I thought, okay, it's taking up a little bit more room. It's just a little bit extra. I don't need it that bad. But the next figure I got, I didn't settle. <laughs> the next figure I got, I got the one I wanted. And the last figure we got is probably one you were probably eyeing up on my shoulder the whole video. Unfortunately, you gotta unplug it. But that is the Sonic Adventure statue. Now, Sonic Adventure is my favorite game of all time. In fact, I did an unboxing video for this that I was like squealing throughout most of the video. It was ridiculous. Like when I get some of these first four figure statues, like some of them impress me very much and I'm like, wow, this looks really good. But this statue, because I have a very unhealthy obsession with Sonic, especially Sonic Adventure, this one I would stare at for probably like 20 minutes to a half an hour. There was a time where I was FaceTiming one of my friends and I was just staring at this thing. I was reclining in my chair as a gamer like you do and every time I would slightly adjust in my chair, I would just see this from a slightly different angle and fall in love with it even more. This is probably my favorite first four figure statue because of how well it replicates the cover art, like to a T. Now there's three versions of this. I said how I didn't settle uh, because there is one that is like better than this one because it has like, uh, um, I think a slightly bigger base and like a giant ring around it. One, I think that one was a lot more expensive and two, I don't really like the ring around it personally because I want to be able to admire Sonic from every angle and just love it without having a ring be in the center of it. So this is the one I wanted and I'm very, very happy with it. And again, the more I look at it, the more obsessed I grow with this thing. Like, God, it's, it's so perfect. Like this is like the perfect Sonic statue for me. Like this is flawless. But now that all of those are out of the way, let's talk about ones that I do plan on getting in the future. I don't know when, but sometime. As a big Sonic fan, they have put out other PVC statues for Sonic, mainly the classic Sonic at the checkpoint post. I think that one would be really great to have. There's two versions of that. We have a standard and an uh, exclusive that lights up. I think I'm more than happy with the standard version myself. I'll probably get that eventually. And, and recently I've been seeing him for about like $60 or so, so eventually I'll pull the trigger. But if I snooze, I lose, so I gotta do it quick. And also the Kirby statue, where it shows him at the door. 
I love that statue so much. I think it's so stinking cute. I'm down for either one. I think having the exclusive version where it like spins and sings, I think. I think that one would be awesome to have, but like, I would be settling if I went for the other one. <laughs> and having Dark Magician, like the purple one, would be really cool as well. Even though I'm more of a blue eyes guy, I have no room for Dark Magician. But Dark Magician is also iconic, so I feel like you gotta have both blue eyes and Dark Magician. But when it comes to ones that I know I'm never gonna get, <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm a Sonic fan. The thing that introduced me to first four figures as a whole, the thing that like got me to discover what they were, was the 20th anniversary statue they did for Sonic Generations. And it was the one where like, it was like mainly meant for like executives and giveaways and stuff like that. It wasn't one they put up for sale. And I know that Sega of America uh, only had a hundred of them of the actual American version where it had like the American box art in the monitor. They were trying to give one away in a video of people like trying to speed run the demo for Sonic Generations. At the time, I didn't have a capture card, but you know if I would have had that equipment at the time, I would have grinded to get that statue because that one, that one is resin, but it's pretty small. It's around the same size as around like the PVC figures compared to what we get nowadays from resin first four figures. But that is one I dream of having. I don't care if it's the American or like the other versions that I probably have like 900 of the other ones. I want that statue bad. Also the 30th anniversary statue looks really good as well. That one's massive though. I don't think I'm ever gonna make room for that even if I did have the money to get that. But something I wish I could have is the whole Crash Bandicoot line. As much as I love Sonic, I am a Crash Bandicoot fanboy at heart. Like, I Crash Bandicoot is my number one thing for the most part. The whole lineup is so fantastic, but if I could only have one for some reason, I don't know if I'd want the classic Crash Bandicoot where it shows him turning around doing a silly face, or if I would want the life-size Aku Aku mask, the exclusive edition where you walk by it and it does his chant. I didn't have the money nor the space for any of those. And I still don't have the money or the room for those. If I manage to get the Aku Aku, I will find a way to make room for that one way or another. But I think one I would also really love in the Crash Bandicoot line uh, that I really possibly might realistically get is the Crash Team Racing winning one where it shows him with the trophy. Because there's times where Entertainment Earth or Sideshow or somebody has it for stupid cheap. And then they have a thing on top of that where they take off like $50 or so off your first order. So I feel like when there's a good combination of me having enough money and savings that I should be saving but instead I'm just going to blow it away on figures. When the stars align, eventually I will get that statue. I don't know when, but one day. But that's going to be it for this video. Uh, let me know in the comments, do you have any figures of your own? If you're part of the Facebook uh, for First Four Figures Collectors, be sure to sound off in the comments on that because I'm going to be posting this there. And I want to see what you guys have because I love sharing this. But anyway, if you're new and you like what you saw, you know what to do. In the description, there's my social media. But for now, I'll see you on the next one. So peace, peace.